Hey there. Today on Country Underground, we're going way back to the Gimpy Master 2013, where Lil Yasmin catches up with the amazing Catherine Britt down at Main Stage. Welcome back to ARCM TV. I am here with a very, very talented lady. Her name is Catherine Britt. And I'm Yasmin Morris. How are you today? I'm good, I'm really good. It's, um, it's been a fun muster so far and it's been good. Last night, I, uh, well, yesterday afternoon, I played on the main stage, so then I got to wander around and see everyone else play. And that's my favourite part about festivals, is catching up with mates and seeing my friends play. So, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm going to do the same again tonight. So, good, good, good. And is this your first Gimpy Muster? No, God, no. Um, my first time was, uh, I was on tour with um, Casey Chambers, actually, and I came with her when I was 16. And then the next year I got invited back for my own show and I've got very lucky and I've been coming ever since, to be honest, every year pretty much. So yeah, I'm a veteran at the UK. You're a local. Yeah, exactly. So, right. Has it changed since the first time you were here? Um, yeah, it has. It's changed and grown um, a lot, but it's still very similar in a lot of ways. Like still a massive crowd every year, which is awesome. They always come. Um, but also, you know, it's just kind of gotten a bit more organised, I think. Back then it was kind of slapped together and you know, just a festival in the middle of nowhere and now it's kind of, you know, really well run and structured. That would be the only difference really, but, you know, it's still the same guys playing, except for all the new up and coming acts that are great at the moment, um, which I try and get out and see as much of them as I can um, at the moment. But yeah, it's, it's the same old Gimpy Must today at the end of the day, so yeah. So when and why did you start performing? Um, when, it, it was like forever, I've always sung, ever since I was little. Um, but I started sort of doing it professionally, I guess, in my early sort of, um, you know, 10, 11, 12, early teens, um, sort of taking it really seriously. Um, and I guess, you know, I just never knew anything else to do. Like, that was just natural for me. Like, I just felt like that's what I had to do and I didn't even have a choice. And I never sort of went, I want to be a singer or this is what I want to do for a career. It just happened that way. It was like, I was doing it. So it happened and then I started to make money and I'm like, oh, sweet. And then I kind of, went, yeah, sort of made a job out of it somehow. I've got quite a few um, awards, like big old guitars. Is there an award that means the most to you? Um, I think golden guitars, I guess, in our um, genre is, you know, the, the ultimate. Um, and winning female vocalist of the year twice now, which is weird. Um, the, that was my first ever golden guitar. I was like, wow, what a, what a, you'd think you'd win a single of the year or something really small first, but. My first goal on the tower was for my vocalist of the year, and that was just amazing. And then I won again this year, and it was amazing again. So, yeah, it's just nice to win those things. They're kind of like pats on the back from the industry, and your peers going, oh, You're doing a good job, and you know, that's about all they are, but they mean that to you, which is always a really nice sort of kick along for the next album. Well, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> um, you're on tour at the moment with Dominic Lane. Yes. How's that all going? Really good. Um, I mean, you know, Don McLean was sort of big before my day, but um, he, you know, kind of was revitalised with American Pie being, you know, a big hit when I was in my teens. And I remember um, being obsessed with that song and then getting the tour, I started delving into his music and he's just one of the ultimate folkies, you know, like he writes those really beautiful, intricate lyrics and um, he's an amazing guitar player. He's 67 now, so... Um, but still just sings like a bird and it's just great, you know, kind of learning from one of the, the, the you know, the guys that have been around forever is always really nice. So, and I love being on tour, so it's nice to be back on the road. Good. Yeah. And when you make a mistake on the stage, if you do, all the time, <laughs> how do you cover it up? Um, I, I, don't, I used to be really bad about this, I used to make it really obvious, but I learned throughout the years that they don't really know if you make a mistake, you know, they're just sort of having fun and enjoying it so you just get on with it you just sort of pretend it didn't happen and um i kind of have a little giggle with the band and, and keep going so that's all you can do really yeah. and what have you been up to lately besides the tour like, have you released any new albums um well we're still working the last album always never enough um that's been amazing just sort of still touring those songs and um getting ready uh for another release at the end of the year which is uh will be announced soon, which is good. Um, and then, yeah, look, I'm, I'm on Saturday Night Country at the moment, so I'm the host of that show, which is a big uh, job. And, you know, it's a four hour radio show, interna uh, not internationally, well, kind of internationally, but Australia-wide uh, every week. So that's a big job. And um, I do so much stuff at the moment. Um, 
hosting CMC show all country and uh, you know just always stuff going on and touring and I'm heading over, over to America in a couple of weeks and um, yeah lots of stuff but that's who I am I'm very hyperactive and always got to be doing stuff and moving and you know have plans in the future or I don't function so I enjoy that. Awesome and have you got any advice for aspiring artists mm. like myself? Um, I do um, honestly the one thing that I've learned throughout the years is you've just got to um, be true to yourself. I know that sounds really cheesy because everyone says that, but I mean that's the truest form. Like just do what you think is best and follow your gut, not anybody else's. Um, take advice, take things on board. At the end of the day, make it your decision and, and do your thing and you know write your songs and tell your story and be yourself because that's what's gonna sell you different to everyone else. Mm -hmm. And it's so important and I learn it every day again and again. I go, right, just gotta be me and not compromise that. Because you wanna be able to sleep at night, you know, knowing that you were true to yourself first. Definitely. Well thank you so much for your time. Pleasure. That's That's so much fun. Fun. Thanks for having me. Oh, no worries. And good luck with your tour. Thank you. Yeah, excited. You're watching AICM TV. I'm Yasin. This is Catherine Brick and see you later. What a great artist. Her hair's almost as fabulous as mine. Thank you for watching and remember to comment or subscribe.